Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Lady Bird, starring Sharshay Ronan, Maureen McCaff, Tracy Letts, Lucas Hedges, Timothy Chalamet, forgive me if I said that wrong, and Beanie Feldstein, and directed by Greta Gerwig, forgive me if I said that wrong too. Now before I get into this movie, the reason I'm doing this movie as well as another few that I haven't reviewed yet is for the Oscars coming up. Like, the only ones I have yet to review are this, Three Billboards, Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Darkest Hour, and Call Me By Your Name. I've reviewed everything else, like Get Out, Shape of Water, and The Post, and Dunkirk, and all that stuff. I forgot one more. I swear I reviewed this one before, too. But, but anyways, the point is, is that I am here to review all the Oscar-nominated movies before before they um, release the winners and all that. So let's get into the movie. Sasha Ronan as Le Christine Lady Bird McPherson does a really good performance as a teenage girl in 2002. Yes, that's the year it's this movie is taking place in. Is going to Catholic school, and I really like this character, and the actress does a great job to portray a girl in Catholic school. Lady Bird's mother named Marion, played by Laurie Bacalf, and her dramatic performance as the as a mother is absolutely tremendous. And that way, she treats her daughter as she can be realistic is a little harsh. But what's the that's what mothers do to their teenage girls. But not all of them. The way Lady Bird jumps out of the car was damn. This girl's got guts to jump out of the car like that. And I like that. It's our protagonist straight off the bat, and it's encouraging for a high school girl. Lady Bird's best friend, Julian, played by Bianni Feldston, forgive me if I said that wrong, is a lot of fun, and I like her better here than that other movie I've seen her in, gave her, I mean, late Neighbors 2, where she, Jesus Christ, I'm losing my mind here, where she was with Chloe Grace Moretz, she gets a better performance here than she did in Neighbors 2. Lady Bird's brother, Miguel, and his gay girlfriend, Jesus, why am I going that far? Girlfriend Shelly are really good in their performances and where they sometimes antagonize Lady Bird. The way this movie is shot is absolutely gorgeous and I'll give director Greta Gerwig some credit for making Sacramento look beautiful, by the way. These shots make the location look really outstanding. Danny, played by Lucas Hedges, is an extremely great performance and kudos to him for playing gay in one scene in the movie and I liked them in the movie these characters are really memorable that I can relate to what they're going through in this movie this movie is at best a dark comedy with a coming-of-age story and honestly it's light-hearted and half and half harsh but it's so far a, d a dark comedy with romance Lady Bird catches Danny in the men's restroom cheating on her with a guy yes he is gay da -da -da -da, as I brought up earlier as we find out in this movie. And she makes Kyle, played by Timothy Chamalot, now meets, I meant to say meets Kyle. Now that character I can't relate to because the world he's the world's class douchebag. I will be talking about him later again this month with Call Me By Your Name. Danny finds Lady Bird at her job at a coffee shop and they're having a conversation about his future and, his, and he cries about and he cries about being gay it was a very sweet scene between Lady Bird and Danny and it was really well done Lady Bird and Julie have an argument about her mother has fake tits forgive me for saying that guys and Lady Bird gets suspended from Catholic school and Lady Bird and Marion get into a bus abusive fight and Lady Bird threatens to write a check of how much it was to raise her and never sees Lady Bird again and that moment of the movie was absolutely powerful for a second act of this movie. Kyle and Lady Bird have sexual intercourse. And at the end of this scene, they have an argument about how he lied about being a virgin. And that scene is when Kyle goes from douchebag to the biggest asshole ever. And I hate that. And I hate him more than ever. And Lady Bird goes from liking him to hating him. And that motherfucker deserves to be ditched. I am not going to lie to you there. 
Ladybird realizes that she can't live without Julie and decides she wants to go to prom with her. And I love that beginning of the third act. And after the graduation scene and the celebration until Marion finds freaks the fuck out about her going to school in New York. And I personally think she's overreacted there. But Lady Bird goes to New York for years and she takes a drive around Sacramento before she left. But we never know if she forgives her and honestly that was very a very unsatisfying ending in my opinion. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 9.0 out of 10. I like the characters except for Kyle and the actors did a great job with their performances and Sacramento looks more beautiful than ever. Kudos to the director Greta Gerwig for her directorial debut and I really enjoyed this movie. So I will be back next week with three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri and I will be back and before I say goodbye, bef thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe watch more videos and please leave a positive comment in the bottom if you can and until next time and the Oscar goes to